We all know Messi. Messi is a great guy, you know. Having captured the hearts of millions of fans worldwide with his exceptional skills and talent. But have you ever wondered what the true legends of football think about him? Maradona, Pele, Ronaldinho. These football icons have their own opinions about Messi and some of their insights might surprise you. In this video, we'll delve into the candid thoughts of these legendary players, including Pele's unexpected comments about Messi. If you're curious to find out what these football icons really think of Messi, then stay tuned for an eye-opening discussion. The more than a decade-long debate about who is the greatest footballer of all time might just have been answered following Lionel Messi's winning of the seventh Ballon d'Or of his career, the most any footballer has had in the history of football, and also his recent edition of the World Cup trophy in 2022. He has undoubtedly cleared the doubt of critics by staying on top of his game over the years until now. I mean, no one appears to come close. Well, Ronaldo fans, don't come at me, but it is quite funny how Cristiano Ronaldo, who is two years older, is two Ballon d'Or awards short. Lionel Messi was that young boy of 11 whom Barcelona offered a trial and even paid the bills to cover his hormonal issues. He has since evolved into a household name in the football world, one whom even the legends of the game call a legend. If Cristiano Ronaldo were out of the equation, Lionel Messi would probably have been said to have single-handedly dominated the world of football for more than a decade now. But even with such a close rivalry, outstanding personalities in the game have picked Messi out as the most outstanding footballer ever to grace the game of football. Messi's debut goal at Barcelona came in the 82nd minute of a game against Espanyol when he was just 17. He was the youngest player to represent Barcelona in an official competition. The assist to his first goal came from the highly revered football idol Ronaldo de Aces Moreira. For those not familiar with that name, it's Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho greatly admired the young recruit and was confident of the stardom that awaited him. In his discussion with the excellent basketball star Kobe Bryant, Ronaldinho told Bryant, I'm going to introduce you to the guy that's going to be the best footballer of all time. Kobe turned to him, not sure Ronaldo knew what he was saying. What? But you're the best. But Ronaldinho answered, no, no, this kid here is going to be the best. Ronaldinho was indeed one of the best, if not the best at that time. But he was able to see a legend in a 17-year-old Messi. And now that he's retired, I think he should consider fortune telling because his prediction, maybe prophecy, turned out to be true. In an interview with Massa, Ronaldo stated, he is the best in the world and there's nothing more to be said. Ronaldinho was not the only legend to sing Messi's praises. Even the current manager of Barcelona, Xavi Hernandez, did not hold back in emphasizing the uniqueness and outstanding qualities of Lionel Messi. Just after Cristiano Ronaldo won his fifth Ballon d'Or in 2017, Xavi refused to give Ronaldo his onions. While he mentioned that Ronaldo is arguably one of the finest players in football, this is what he had to say about Messi. Messi is the player that makes the most difference in the world. It's more than obvious. He also added that Messi does more things compared to Cristiano. Messi is the best. If Cristiano considers himself the best player in history, that's fine. But there is no comparison for those who see Messi train. Messi is the best in history, and we don't see it any other way. Why won't Messi be referred to as the best when even his bitterest football rivals have knelt and acknowledged his greatness? I mean, it's like denying the sun is hot or the sky is blue. It's just plain ridiculous. Messi is the king of the pitch, and anyone who says otherwise probably thinks ketchup is too spicy. Enough of Barcelona stars. Does any other legend, not a Catalan, think of Messi as the best? Well, yes. One of them is the king of football. The man who won numerous domestic and international titles with his country, Brazil, and his club, Santos FC. The wonder man and goal-scoring machine who had a tally of 1,281 goals in his professional career. I am talking about Pele, who is widely accepted 
and acknowledged as one of the greatest players of all time. Strangely, his submission about Messi initially was not so great. Pele was asked in 2018 if Messi was a better player than him, and he replied, How can you make a comparison between a guy who heads the ball well, shoots with the left, shoots with the right, and another who only shoots with one leg, only has one skill, and doesn't head the ball well? He submitted that Messi was in no way on the same level as him. He continued by saying this about himself. Once in a match in Senegal, the goalkeeper cried so much after I scored that he had to be substituted. He had lost a big bet. He continued his criticism of Messi. How can you compare? To compare anyone with Pele, it has to be someone who shoots well with the left, shoots well with the right, and scores headers. Pele may think he's head and shoulders above the rest, but Messi's got some fancy footwork and header skills too. The little magician has proven he's no one-trick pony, scoring with his melon and trusty right foot. Not long after criticizing Messi's ability to score with his right foot and head, Pele turned back on his words to affirm that Messi is the best in the game. In an interview in 2019, Pele was asked which current star he would love to play alongside. The three-time FIFA World Cup winner said, I think Leo Messi. He's a skilled player, gives assists, passes, scores, and dribbles well. If we were in a team, the opponents would have to worry about two players, not just one. Today, Messi is the most complete player. And that's it. Crown the king and never deny his head the crown made for it. This prolific English player was also an absolute whiz at taking free kicks. He played for not one, but two of the biggest clubs in the world, Manchester United and Real Madrid, the same as Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, you guessed it right. I'm talking about none other than David Beckham. He never managed to get his hands on the Ballon d'Or, but was runner-up in 1999. He also came close to winning the FIFA World Player of the Year twice in 1999 and 2001. Not too poor for a guy who spends most of his time taking spot kicks, right? The legend Pele named Beckham one of the greatest living players of all time. Bex made it onto the exclusive list of 100 revealing the creme de la creme of football. Beckham's admiration of Lionel Messi did not even start based on football. He chose to express his opinion about Messi's personality first. Beckham was asked in an interview with ESPN Argentina who his favorite player to watch was at the moment, and he answered, it has to be Lionel Messi. I love Leo for many different reasons. I love him because he's a great father. I love him because he has a great personality and character. He added, he is a great person, but I think what everybody loves about him is the way he plays the game. He plays the game with passion. He plays the game just free. Lionel Messi has been bound for greatness and stardom since his early days in football. Three years after he made his debut appearance for Barcelona, a renowned football star and one of the most influential figures in modern football. I'm talking about the originator of the total football philosophy, Johan Cruyff, who is considered both one of the best players as well as the most excellent managers in the history of football. Also predicted that Messi was going to go on to be one of the best, if not the best, in the game. In 2008, Johan Cruyff said this about Messi. Still only 20. He has a little to learn about the game. When to provide the right pass and dribble. When he fully understands that, he won't just get one golden ball, Ballon d'Or. He'll have an entire collection by the time his career ends. It may be safe to say that Messi went on and improved his game and the legendary Cruyff's prediction eventually came to pass. Johan Cruyff in 2015 again affirmed Messi as being ahead of any other player in football. He stated, For me, I have always liked small, technical players because that's a little what I was like. Ronaldo is a great player, but he's a goal scorer. He will never be the player that can create or force a team to play well. He cares about finishing. He is a great player. Then he went on. Messi is much more of a team player than Cristiano. He gives passes and produces many more assists. Though for me, as a player, not a goal scorer, although he also scores a lot, the best is Messi. There's a great difference between being a great player 
and a goal scorer. Many years have rolled by since his introduction to professional football. He has stayed on top of his game, rising like a star and outshining many great players. With numerous individual and international awards in his quiver, it's safe to say that those who refer to him as the greatest of all time in the football world have their claims justified. His name will continue resounding in many generations' hearts and lips. His name is Lionel Andres Messi Cicciatini. Don't click off just yet. Remember I mentioned earlier that David Beckham said he's a great father? Well, is he really one? Watch this video right here to find out the hidden truth about Messi's relationship with his kids. Messi exposes the hidden truth about his kids.